Peggy 7. Good morning, my name is Firefly1995 and I'm here to explain to you how to build a ship in Kerbal Space Program. Go Team Firefly! Woohoo! So, what we're going to do is, we're going to play at the second menu, that's where we're going to begin. So, I want to thank all of you who have seen the first and second episode of Kerbal Space Program. It means a lot to me. Sadly, it means nothing to Camp Fluffy. Now, if you'd all be so kind as to follow me this way, I will help you get along with Kerbal Space Program. The first module for any ship is the command pod. Without it, we won't go anywhere. Now that we have the command module, I'll explain briefly how it works. The first thing about the command module is that it controls the rocket with some people in it. If Fluffy was in it, however, it simply it would surely crash. The command module provides SAS control for the rocket, not RCS like you've seen in my other videos. This is a fuel tank, model number FLT800 tank, and it will power an engine shortly. To that, we will add the swivel engine. The swivel engine gives us amazing control over our rocket, but we don't need the control from it just yet. We add this because we need to separate the stages before we can start on the actual system for getting us off the ground. That system will consist of a large tank, namely the Rockomax X200-32 fuel tank. We've put in four tanks because we actually need them. We need this adapter first, so now that we have the adapter our ship won't look so retarded and will fly more beautifully. I've just realized that with all these tanks and from other failures that the ship will wobble a lot. Yeah. These winglets are really going to help with stabilizing the rocket. Without them we won't get too far. To make things easier, when we reach space, I'm going to add the necessary additions to the rocket, an RCS system and a parachute for when we come out of the sky.
intelligent rocket scientist like myself, then we are always going to get into space. Problem is, getting back. As you noticed, I added a stack decoupler because the last thing I want is for us to go flying down with all the systems connected. It'll cause too many problems for us on re-entry. I also learned from my older mistakes that by adding a larger than life heat shield, we would get a great slowdown. Also, by adding an aerodynamic protective thing really helps because without it our parachute will more likely fail. Plus it helps keep our ship in shape, literally, as it goes up. Thank you for watching and have a great day. If you like this video, give us a huge thumbs up. If you didn't, then leave us a big thumbs down. Of course, subscribe and enjoy the descent back to Kerbin with some music that I have taken the liberty of adding to the whole thing. Stay safe guys, Firefly out.